I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I wasn't going to do a my team concept just because I was like, this game mode is way too much about money. It's way too, it's way too far gone. Everything that they did, I feel like there's kind of no going back now. But I'm just going to say how I think you guys can recover from this, okay? So I feel as if you guys should have a legal way to wager. If you guys don't want people to be buying MT and to be wagering against the TOS, I feel like you guys should make a lobby where people can go in and wager. I have two different ideas. You can either make it so it's an invite only type system or where you type in how much you want to wager and somebody who wants to wager similar gets into a lobby with you and you guys come to terms on how much you guys want to wager for maybe have a chat on the side where you can type in there and you know go on from there you can see the person's team rating so there's no getting finessed you know what you're going up against if you see the team is way better than you maybe even get a warning from the game or make it so you only get matched up versus people who have similar setups to you that way there is no way of getting finessed now I was thinking why there wouldn't be a setup like this and I was thinking maybe 2k would lose money because you know that's what they're more worried about but to be honest I think they would get money out of the situation because me personally I left my team because of the whole idea of it being pay to win and because I was like man you know what how am I supposed to get a good team without spending $500 off it and there was no way of doing that so I said man forget it. I'm just gonna play park where I can actually play the game. Yes, I have to spend money. $50 one time is not bad. Compared to, have to having to spend $9,000, some of these my team YouTubers spend, like you guys don't realize how much money they spend. Some of you guys probably spend that and don't even realize it to be honest. You probably open $50 worth of packs every day and don't really tally it up. Now I'm telling you guys, I feel like they'll have more people like this. I mean, there's gonna be somebody who takes L. The people who are good at 2K are going to benefit off it, obviously. The people who are bad are going to have to go and buy more anyways. So I feel like you're not really losing money and you have more people playing the game. I showed this before, but let me find a way to make it cater to your money. You know what? Madden does this. Why can't you guys do it? I feel like maybe you should have a ranked My Team Draft instead of just having the regular one. So make it so people have to pay to play this. I know, I know. Everybody who wants to play, oh my gosh, please don't do that. Look, guys, the only way they're going to put stuff in the game is if they know it's going to bring in money for them. So why not? Go ahead. Rob everybody. Rob little kids. Do what you got to do, man. Do a ranked one. Do an unranked one. If you guys want to make it so it's actually fun, make it free. But if you want to make it so you make the most money, go ahead and charge. I'm not going to personally do it. I won't. I'm not paying that much money for it, but I'll play the free one, but I'm not paying the one, I'm not playing the one that costs money. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to do that, do it. I don't know, whatever. You, you get some people who do it, but me personally, I'm straight. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. That's the best way you guys can make money off that situation and have it be fun for people too. When I say something like this, I don't mean make the packs themselves cheaper. I don't mean make VC itself cheaper. Both of those things would be nice, but this is all I'm saying. 2K16 pack odds weren't the greatest, but they were way more affordable than these pack odds. Here's what I mean by that. Let's say a diamond LeBron James comes out, and I say, you know what, man? My name is Nick Wright. I want to go ahead and grab that LeBron James. And I say, no matter what, I'm going to sit here until I pull this LeBron. Now, some people might get lucky and pull the LeBron on one box. So maybe $100. Some people might get unlucky and spend $1,000 and never pull that LeBron. But there's one thing though. There's always an average in how much it takes. So if 10 people sit back and try to pull the LeBron and it takes an average of $500, that means that LeBron James is probably worth $500. So that's probably the case in a lot of these cards in this my team. So I say, why not make the average price? A hundred maybe is a little too cheap. I don't know, because people want to, you know, they want their cards to have value. So how about 150, 200? I, I mean, these are still little kids we're talking about here. I mean, you know, we all can have the cards. Now, I know when they made the pack odds really high, so people spent like $5,000 in the game, then they lowered it at the end of the year. Everybody's cards were worth absolutely nothing, and it pretty much ruined everything because you started it off very high, then you made it low. So now 
Stuff that I spent so much money on became worth at absolutely nothing. So in order for this to work, you have to start it off like this off rip. Will they do this? No, because obviously the packs are gonna be hot when they first come out. When I say hot, I don't mean for us, for them. A lot of people are gonna be buying packs, trying to make the best team possible. First off, trying to get all the videos out. So are they going to do this most likely? Most likely not. But I'm saying, this is these are little kids. Like, like if, 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 an, if an adult that works 40 hours a week can't afford these, how are we going to expect 13 to 15 year old people to afford these packs? Now these go hand in hand. If you're not going to make the packs cheaper to get, at least make it so I can play the game in order to get these cards. Is that too much to ask for? Should I have to be forced to buy stuff in order for me to play? I already bought the game. So let's tally it up real quick. Now if I play my team, I'll probably buy the Legend Shack Edition. So that's $150 already. Now I get home, I'm not pulling nothing. I decide to spend 50 more dollars to get some more packs. Now obviously I'm not done there. I'm gonna spend 100 more dollars to get a box. That's if I get something. 50 more dollars the next day. $20 because man, you know, I just wanna just try something real quick. And $100 is usually when you say, man, you know what? I'm gonna just buy one more. If I don't get nothing, I'm done. And are you really done? No, you're not really done. That's $470, let's say in the first week. Some of you guys may not do that first day, but I know some will. We'll say first week. 2K, $470 each person. Come on, that's a lot of money. I know, look, 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 I, I know. We all we all like money. But I mean, once again, I feel like, man, like when is the integrity kick in though? We'll use this one as an honorable mention. Is this needed? Not really. But would it be cool to have? Sure. Let's say I have a card. So let's let's actually use these cards, for example, because I already have them up on screen. The Kobe, let's say, is worth more than the Tim Duncan. I have no idea which one is worth more. Now, let's say I want to get the Kobe. So I put up Tim Duncan and 100 KMT in order to get the Kobe. I feel like that should be a thing instead of me having to sell the Tim Duncan lose a little bit of value after I don't get my coins, you know, all my coins back. I think I lose like 10%. And then, you know, it saves time. If somebody wanted to do that, I think that should be allowed. But once again, it's not something that is needed. I just think it'd be cool to have. I ain't talking to you bro, bitches, I got money now All a nigga understand is Since that check came in, everybody talking like a nigga Acting funny now, that don't matter All I hear is since that check came in I love it when you talk to me My cash machine, my cash machine